the New York Knicks have waived Quentin Rose, who was on an Exhibit 10 contract. They made the right move. Let's put it that way. They made the right move waiving this dude. He has never played in the NBA before, and he has been, well, around the NBA for a while. He got signed back in 2020 by the Sacramento Kings on an Exhibit 10 and got waived two days later. He's a 6'10 guard, or I mean 6'8, excuse me, 6'8 guard. He's going to be 25 in January. Never played a game. Played half a minute in the G League, 30 seconds in the G League in 2021. And then in 2022, he played 21 games in the G League where he got 21 and a half minutes per game, but only averaged 7.7 points per game, as well as four rebounds, two assists, and one and a half steals and half a block. So the one and a half steals, obviously, really good. In only 21 minutes, that's really good. The rest of it, though, is like, eh, especially when you see he shoots 27.6% from three. Eh. Like, I don't know about those numbers, bro. So, listen. It just, I don't even know they signed him in the first place. He's not that valuable of a player. You're like, oh, we need to sign him to an Exhibit 10 so then he plays for our G League team. Like, come on. Come on. 7.7 points per game. That's not that much. Yes, in college, when he played for Temple in 2020, he averaged 16.5 points per game, 5 rebounds, 3.5 assists, 2 steals, 0.7 blocks. Did not shoot good from 3. Those are good numbers outside of the not shooting good from three. But from his junior to his senior year, he didn't really have any upgrade. He just kind of plateaued. And even his sophomore year, he was pretty close. He was at 15 points per game. So only gained one point. And his freshman year, he was at 10. So yes, the 10 to 16 and a half is a pretty big jump-ish. But from 15 to 16 and a half isn't a huge jump. So... The 7.5 points per game in the G League is crazy. I don't like that, personally. So, I think that the... I think the Knicks definitely, absolutely made the right decision to waive him. Uh, I want to know what you guys have to say, though, in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and turn notification bells. Oh, we're trying to hit 10k subs, so if you guys could subscribe, I would really appreciate that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching, and peace out, my friends. See you guys next time. Bye.